Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm just off fancy because it's my mom's birthday and we're gonna go pick out a cake for her right now, but I've just been having the YouTube playing. While I've been making some jewelry, guys, I've been watching Miss Remy Ashton and I'm making some jewelry. My inklet broke, so I'm remaking it. And then I made this rainbow moonstone necklace for myself. And then I'm working on making this new mala, guys. It's a smoky quartz mala, but in between there's little beads. And these are actually pyrite beads, so it's a very earth tone energy. And it just looks so pretty. I cannot wait to show you guys. And Maleficent wants to say hi. I just cannot wait for this to be done, guys. It's going to look so so cool and I can't wait to get the guru head too you know what I totally forgot about that so maybe I might just make this one a bracelet because I do need the pendant to still put there and the these are the beads guys are so pretty these little pyrite beads are so sparkly sorry it's shaky Maleficent is rubbing her head on me <laughs> and there's like a bunch of beautiful beads in here guys so these are all the beautiful beads guys and I cannot wait to make some awesome jewelry. Be sure to check out my Etsy shop Mystic Priestess for more magical things coming soon. Why do I look so orange? So we're at the nursery right now guys and this tree's so cute. It's a something. Let me just bring the name if you guys are going to wonder before I show you. It's like a Japanese tree name and it's so pretty. Look at it. I could just so see this in a Zen garden with like a Buddha. So pretty. And I thought this one had neat leaves too, guys. They're so neat. And there's like those apps out there where you can scan the plant if you wonder what the name is. But neat little coloring. And ooh, it's so fun to be out in nature. I really like this flower too, guys. It's so pretty for spring. Look how spring this is. It reminds me of like spring and summer. So pretty. So pretty out today, guys. But it's kind of cold. It's kind of chilly. So I'm happy I have my blazer on to give me a little warmth. But it's cold. Not this plant matching the aesthetic of my Dr. Pepper can. <laughs> I feel like I'm not only in the enchanted forest guys, but I'm in the enchanted nursery with all the beautiful plants. There's just not that many right now. Obviously, it's still like cold and everything and they can't have too much out, but I can't wait for more stuff to come in spring. It's just so beautiful. And look at a very magical plant sometime. It looks so nice. I feel like that's just cool greenery to have and then have like flowers pop out in between. So pretty. <laughs> Guys, it's time for a Tana Mojo rant story time. Just joking. I'm just feeling like a bratty YouTuber, but I hate these. You guys already know. I post with my video, my thoughts of everything. Like, it's just such bullshit. And I have freedom, free will. Living on Earth, you have free will to begin with in this realm, as well as living in America, the land of the free. Like, this mask was already on me, okay? Like, this guy's. And then the manager has the audacity to come up to me and say, put it over your nose more when it's on me, being so close. So I said, um, keep your six feet if you're so worried about it and like back off. Cause I'm like, come on guys, it was on me like this. Like if my nose is peeping a little bit, but like I need to breathe. I want to breathe when it's my days off and I'm not mandatory to wear this crap. I need to breathe and I want to live my best life. So that kind of triggered me a little bit and annoyed me. And then when I was in line, at the grocery store, the lady behind me said to put it up more, and it was like this, guys. And then, after a minute, the lady in front of me, the cashier, said something about my mask, and I'm like, what are you talking about? It's on my face. Like, you need to really fuck off. That just really triggered the divine wrathful side of me, that maleficent energy, that, like, wrathful... How you sneeze so Rajaya Pusa looks right there, or Rajapani Buddha, how those Buddhas look evil. <laughs> it's just like my wrathful sides come in to get you. But long story short, I'm home. Not gonna let that get to me, but they gotta feel a bit of my wrath. Maleficent's being cute. I bought so much acetone, guys. Um, not because I want to, but at the where I live, the only place I can really get it is Stata Brothers. And to get the one that actually works, that's real 100% acetone, not mixed with anything. And the bottles are so tiny, guys. I honestly suck at doing my nails, even though you guys are so sweet. People in person say my nails look good. It's like, thank you so much, guys, but I suck at it. I make a lot of boo-boo, and I take everything off. I need this, and I go through this, like, 
a lot and I got a sister so we've been using the acetone and I can't buy it in the aisle where these are they just sell out like crazy guys and I just can never find this where I live and Amazon doesn't want to ship it to me so it's a struggle to get dish so this is my treasure of the day my $30 spent at this grocery store at Stater Brothers not sponsored <laughs> just joking but um I got some stuff my manager that used to work at Starbucks she um got stuff to do a chai latte so I bought some stuff we'll see if I can make it because wasn't really my vibe but it's kind of good you know very meet magical souls and welcome back to another magical video so today I'm going to be unboxing the Ipsy I think it's just their basic subscription and I have the bigger one coming too so I'm gonna wait for that and hopefully it'll be here soon but like I told you guys in the boxy charm unboxing I just really want some concealer but to pay 12 bucks for concealer get some extra goodies that I can give to my sister or my mom would be awesome so I wonder what's in here Ooh, there's a salt body scrub gray sea salt and bamboo plus charcoal this is neat and this is so cute guys like how everything's so travel and tiny i just honestly save this for when you're going to a friend's house overnight just one of those things you just have some cute essentials and they're all travel size there is a glycol i can't even pronounce it a glycolactic radiance renewal mask so that's kind of cool a little face mask or whatever there's these things um it looks like there's some kind of eyeshadow in here which will be cool for my mom i hope it's a nude color because i chose all the nude stuff i know that's her vibe um let's see what this little one is oh this is a golden hour shimmer eyeshadow by orzara guys and these are some pretty nude colors i think my mom is gonna love this and it's so cute compact and tiny <laughs> Sorry if it's really windy too guys, it's the mountain, I can't control the weather. I don't think I'm getting any concealer in this and I'm so sad. There is also a wake up call overnight facial treatment, something something. So cool, I honestly can't wait for my bigger Ipsy one guys. I'm gonna include this clip in my vlog. Um, the bigger Ipsy thing has to be so much cooler. I didn't want to just not get this because for 12 bucks you get some neat stuff. but. Honestly, I would only want to order this if I know I'm gonna go on a little trip or something. You want some cute travel size stuff, but it's cute for 12 bucks, guys. You get a little bit of um, everything and what you do want to get. So I chose a lot of skincare stuff because I need that. I want that. I have a lot of the makeup stuff already that I ordered, and this is stuck in here. It doesn't want to come out. <laughs> But if I'm honest, for $12, you do get a cute little custom makeup bag and there's like the theme for the month and all this information that I really don't want to read. And yeah, I think it's still kind of cute for 12 bucks. And if you're going to travel, I think it's really cute. Or to buy this for like your little kid or something would be the small one, guys. Traveling or to get it for your kid. But if you were to actually want to do your makeup and stuff, I would go for the one that's like 20 something bucks. And this shade's pretty too. This is something for like... Uh, highlighter so this highlighter is actually really pretty guys it's a nice little shimmery shade and honestly traveling amazing guys for your purse maybe because not like you travel in your purse but you know touch up your makeup at work cute for your little kid cute <laughs> but for sure i'm gonna be so ecstatic when i get my bigger ipsy back so i'm so happy that i did get some things and for 12 bucks i'm honestly satisfied it's cool thank you ipsy and i hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog clip and i'm so happy i'm out in nature and i am free from the chaos of the world <laughs> But yeah, guys, I'll be seeing you soon. And I wore this outfit and didn't even shoot a TikTok or nothing. I really should because I haven't worn this outfit on TikTok. <laughs> guys, ooh, this lighting looks good on me for some reason. But I'm going to show you how to make a chai latte. And we'll see if I'm doing this right. My manager showed me and she used to work at Starbucks. So we got some sweet cream, but she used half and half. Some chai latte that's pre-made. And I got decaf because the other one was sold out. This French Torlini syrup. Some ground cinnamon. Of course, some ice. And I'm going to use this mug because I want to drink a lot. But this mug is so much cuter, guys. It's that, like, one where you know there's, like, a drink in it, but you can see the double thing. This is just glass, and it's so, like, scary. I need to buy the black one next time. Or not black one. I'm saying that because I see my mug. I mean the plastic one. But let's make this latte. So basically, all you're going to do is, like, pour the ice in here. Or you could pour it in each one, and you're going to pour the drink, a little bit of cream. And then you're going to keep on putting it in each cup, kind of like a shaker. If I don't have one, then I'm going to put some of dish in there and we're going to make a yummy drink. I don't have a tripod right now, guys, so we're just going to work with what we got. So I'm going to put some ice in these cups. Honestly, might as well just use all the ice. I have to make more. So we got ice and we're going to get our 
chai latte that's pre-made because no one wants to make it from scratch. That's no fun. Oh no, this was already open, guys. It's that bad. Mm, hopefully, I don't get poisoned today. So, we're going to pour some of this in here. Ooh. You guys can't even see it. This other stuff is all blocking the view. We'll have the Torlini right here and that right there. We'll have that in the corner. So I poured some in here. And I kind of made a little bit of a mess. So I have this in here. And I'm going to pour a little bit of this sweet cream. Because I don't have half and half. We'll pour a little bit of here. Ooh, that looks so good. Do you guys see that? That is like visual aesthetics right there. And Mason wants to make a little entrance or something. My little brother wants to say hi. So there's Hi. Mason. I'm going to pour some of this. And I'm probably going to pour a lot more of everything, guys, because my sense of taste is just really not there. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put some cinnamon in here. And I think she did some steps, like, after she kept on putting it in each cup. But I'm just doing it like this, guys. <laughs> so you would use kind of like one of those shakers to do it. But I'm just using two cups because we're DIYing. We're being resourceful right here. So you do this, this, a couple times, and then you can pour it into the final cup. And then you're going to have yourself a bomb chai latte. It actually would look cute in here with the straw, but I want to use this mug that I was gifted. So let's see how this tastes, guys. I hope this is going to taste amazing. A little bit of Starbucks syrup in the shop. Have all the goods. Okay, this is the chai latte. Let's see if it tastes good. Oh my god. This tastes even more flavorful than I made it at work. It's so good. This is so good, guys. It's so sweet. This is so divine. I'm in love. I forgot to show you guys, but my sister ordered some photos, and she let me have these. These are from that Death Note anime, the little Shimigami. I don't know why they make them look all, like, creepy and they're evil, but they're not. The little death gods. Oh, I can't do this, guys. I got chip crumb fingers. Um. Yum, yum, yum. So it's little death note photos. I'm gonna use these as phone cases on my phone. Ryuk and everyone. Misa. Ooh. Just love the photos. And these are so good, guys. Whatever this chip is, I just cut it. So I can get more in here and get, like, all the crumbs. Yeah. Oh, they're Mason's chips. Mm -hmm.